Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we are going to be uh, using webhooks to send a message from the Roblox, uh, from our Roblox game towards a Discord server. So let's get started, shall we? So first of all, um, what we want to do is we want to insert a uh, server script inside server script services. And then basically to start off with, I'm just going to get straight into it. And we're going to start off by getting the URL of the webhook. So first of all, let's head over to Discord. So basically, once you're inside of your server and you have it created, you want to come down here to the arrow and you want to go to server settings. Now in server settings, you want to come down here to um, integrations and you can see here webhooks. I mean, you want to click create webhook. And then now we have this name and I'm going to do a uh, message bot, let's name this. And then you can change the channel to whatever channel you want, but we just want to put it to this. And then you create the webhook, uh, copy the webhook URL, and then we want to save changes. And then now we now have a webhook inside of this. And then now we want to hop over to Roblox Studio and we want to set the variable for our URL. So let's do local, local URL equals, and then you want to put the inside of speech marks and you want to paste your uh, URL, Discord uh, URL here. And then now we want to get the HTTP service. So I'm going to create a variable and name it HTTP um, equals, uh, equals game colon get server, uh, service, sorry. And we want to get the HTTP server, uh, service. I keep saying server, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so the way that I'm going to be running this is I'm going to be sending a message saying that the player has joined the game when a player joins the game. So what we need to do is we need to um, do a player added event. So we wanted to do game dot players dot player added colon connect, and then we want to run a function inside of this, and then now um, we can actually start scripting it. So Basically, what I want to do is I want to um, create some data and then basically, yeah, so we want to create the message first. So let's, so let's do local data equals, and then we want to start a table. So it's using these kind of brackets. And then now inside of this, we want to square brackets and we want to do embeds. So it's M, well, it's the embeds. And then we want to do, um, let's set two. Uh, and just like this, so we've got two tables uh, because we are creating two different um, things, two different uh, t types. And then we want to grab the title. So we want to put the title as um, let's do um, let's let's actually let's get the player when they join the game. So we're going to get the player here. So I'm going to do player. Um, dot name so let's grab the player's name and then let's do dot dot has has joined and then now i'm going to do the description the description sorry so let's do uh description and then we want to do uh equals uh let's do um welcome whatever and then now you would have noticed that there's an underline, it, it's underlined here. So inside of this, we want to add a comma here. So double check that you have that. And then now that should be good. Okay, so now after the table, the first table, so after this last one, we want to uh, create another, um, another variable for the final bits of data. So let's do local final data. And then what we want to do is do a HTTP, so the variable that we did up here, and then we want to get a JSON encode. So let's do this colon, and then let's do JSON um, encode, not decode. We don't want to decode it. And then we want to get the data. So we're basically grabbing the table, and then now we can do HTTP um, post a sync, so we want to get, we want to post the data to the URL, to the Discord server, and, we, and the data we want to put as the final data. So basically what we are doing here uh, in this line is we are 
basically grabbing all of this and putting it inside of the data, as in actually storing it as a um, webhook, as a message, and or putting it as the um, JSON uh, kind of way. And then we are basically getting, we are posting it uh, to the URL, well, on the URL, uh, and we are getting the final data from that. We want to enable HTTP services. So I'm going to need to publish, publish this game. I'm going to name it HTTP services. Um, and whatever, and, um, and then now we want to cap, hop into the game settings and then we want to come down to security again. And then we want to uh, allow HTTP requests. So that basically we are allowing it, uh, to be actually run, to actually run, uh, to actually run, sorry. <laughs> uh, and then we want to save. And then now, when we hop into the game, you should hopefully see that, um, yeah, we get sent the Discord message and it has our username and it says, welcome. Okay guys, so that was webhooks inside of Roblox Studio. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.